You're wrong. It's mashed potatoes. As much as I value your opinion, the stuffing is the best thing at Thanksgiving. No. Oh. Danny? Danny? It's the cranberry sauce. Well, at least we can all agree that we love Thanksgiving. And what would be Thanksgiving without a beautiful table runner to put your food on? Amber, I completely agree. And one of my favorite blocks that I use in the table runner is the catch cradle block. What makes it so special? Well, I am so glad that you asked. I'm glad you're glad. Well, I'm glad that you're glad that I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> okay, Creative Grids came out with the Cat's Cradle trim tool. And like all Creative Grid rulers, it has a patent texture backing. Danny. Another cool feature about this ruler is that it already has your measurements printed on there for you. So you don't have to keep referring back and forth to your magic pack. I'll never lose them. No, you won't. Um, and also you can make two blocks at one time. I love that. The thing is, there's a lot going on here. It looks very complicated. Well, it's not, Amber, and let me show you how it's not. Okay. okay. So, I'm going to make a three and a half inch finished block. And as you can see here, I'm gonna cut two two and a half by two and a half inch squares. And then I'm gonna cut two two and a half by three and a half inch rectangles. And then for my background fabric, I'm gonna cut four and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna put this ruler to the side for just a moment because we won't need it. So here's my two and a half by two and a half inch squares and my two and a half by three and a half inch rectangles. You're gonna sew your rectangles to your squares like so. Let me interrupt you for a moment. Okay. I wanna show you when you get done with that and you go press your seams, we have a new spray bottle in the store. Um, instead of having a concentrated spray when you're using the other ones and having splotches, this mist all throughout your project so that you don't have those splotches. It's fantastic and they're available now. We also have this new petite iron. So when you're doing smaller blocks like this and you have small seams, this comes in very handy. So for your next step, you're gonna take your strips, put them right sides together, putting your squares on opposite ends, take it to your sewing machine, so a quarter of an inch. So whenever you're done, your strip should look like this. And then you'll take your background fabric that's four and a half by five and a half, place your strips on top of your background fabric, putting right sides together. And then this is where the cat, cat's cradle trim tool comes in. Right here, you'll have a square that you are gonna place on your seam line. And with my Frixion pin that I'm taking out of my lovely clear caddy. Is you, that new? Yes, it's new. We have them in the store? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can put your scraps, um, your rotary cutter, anything in there that you need. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark my sewing line with my Frixion pin. And then I'm gonna flip and do the same thing on the opposite side. So with those lines, you're gonna go to your sewing machine, sew directly on them. And I'm gonna show you one half of the block that I did. When you bring it back, you're gonna take your trim tool and with this quarter inch seam allowance, you're gonna place that black line on your sew line. And then you're gonna trim off the excess. So then you just place it on the other side as well? Yes. Now how much waste am I getting on there? You're getting in about an eighth of an inch okay. of waste. That's not bad. So when you press them open, you'll have two squares. At one two. time. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Now, I'm not quite done. Okay. Like I said, I did a three and a half inch block, so I'm gonna show you how to trim this down. Mm -hmm. So with all these squares right here in the corner, where it does look intimidating, mm -hmm. What you're just gonna do, since I'm doing a three and a half inch block, is I'm gonna place my lines even with all my seams. And then you're just gonna trim the excess off. And then you're gonna flip. 
Doesn't that rotating mat just come in so handy with these projects? Yes, it does. Very much so. I love mine. And on your opposite side, all you have to do is make sure that your dotted line is lined up with your seam line and you'll trim the excess off there. Where you'll have a finished three and a half inch block. Another cool thing that you could do with this block is that you can create um, the split catch cradle. You'll just place another square on top of your square that you have and so corner to corner and you can cut your excess fabric out and press open and it creates the splits catch cradle. And with this block, I created this lovely table runner using the caps on the table cut loose press pattern and my Creative Grids catch cradle trim tool. And that's Vanessa with a table runner as beautiful as this. I think your friends and your family would be happy even if you served tofurkey. Yep. <laughs> If you liked our video, please like and share. Comment below with what you like for Thanksgiving. If you come in the store and tell us your favorite food for Thanksgiving um, and purchase the ruler, you will get 10% off the ruler plus a free gift with that ruler. Stay tuned and we'll see you next month.